Hello, hello. So they just released OpenAI's Codex to people on all plans now, including Plus. Um, it previously, previously was only available on the higher tier. And I am very curious <laughs> what it does, how it works. Um, so far, it's failed the first task, but it starts you with three suggestion tasks. And the first one was explain the code base, find and fix a bug, and then propose tasks for typo bug and comment and et cetera, right? So it failed the first one. Now the context though, is uh, <laughs> this this code base, uh, let me see if I find it here. I think it's, yeah, it's this one. It's a very old C code base. <laughs> here. And, and yeah, this is a project I started when I was a kid actually. <laughs> um, and it's really old, it's really old. And I have a good buddy. He's the one that actually still works on it. But he still does uh, work on this. And you see, it, it's like, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, why does it have five make files? <laughs> but this thing is like a monster. It's a monster. It's so huge. Oh my gosh. It's just a, it's a beast. Um, so, you know, if you're going to throw something in the, in the deep end, this is, this is what I'm doing right now. Uh, so I'm going to test that out and I'll, I could, I'll rep report the results. I'll even put it like, I guess maybe in the comments cause, uh, after the fact to see what happens here or whatever. Um, in addition the right now there's the bolt dot new hackathon, the world's largest hackathon as they, uh, self-describe it. And this might be a tool that can help you, uh, debug issues with your project. You know, so if you have a chat GPT description, uh, description subscription uh you might be able to use this tool because those projects are not going to be as monstrous as this thing that, I'm, that I'm, i just fed it um it'll be interesting to test out love to hear what people think uh but yeah so i just want to make a quick video on that and see you out there good luck <laughs> okay and we're back so the proposed task for typo bug comment and test fixes it went through you found Let's see here, typo and comments about time and weather info, information, step information. Yeah, that's a typo in a comment. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so we'll, we'll start that task, see what happens. Um, okay, possible division by zero, that's, that's not good. And there you have it right there, division by M count, and it doesn't look like there's, it looks like M count starts at zero. <laughs> that's a terrible one. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe I'll just, report that to Stefan or look at that myself just to make sure what's going on. Uh, division by zero, the function should be guarded against M count being zero before performing the division, right? Oh, this is what's going to do. It's going to, before dividing, check if M count is non-zero. If zero set arg level to zero. Is greater than zero. I get it. Let's do it. Yeah, commit with message, avoid division. Yeah, let's do that. That's, that's fairly safe. This is cool. This is like very, like they're doing safe things. <laughs> uh, that commission type of error and error code. <laughs> it's so funny because this, this code base is so old. Yeah, you could fix that. That's safe to fix. It's, it's a, it's a comment. Um, missing tests for legal communication. The helper function legal communication rejects messages containing sequences like da, 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 and da, da. Um, but there are no unit test exercises yet. Adding tests will lock down expected behavior. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm curious what it does. Let's see. Create a new test source. Using an existing test framework and unit test, write cases covering. Update or create a makefile entry to build and run this test similar to other tests. Yeah. You want to see what happens? I don't want to interfere with what something Steph is doing, so we're going to skip, we're going to skip that one. No, it doesn't look safe. Um, yeah. Okay. This is good. Not bad at all. Okay. And we'll just, just see if there's uh, anything else going on here that it finished. One, it failed completely. Oh, yeah, let's start those other tasks. Great. Um, yeah, okay. So it's trying to do these tasks now. Whatever, I'll check back on this. I, I think I'll stop the video there. Just, you know, it's five minutes to get a quick idea of what's going on. It's worth testing already. I could see that. That's pretty darn cool. Um, and if you're, if you're participating in a hackathon right now, 
this could be a great tool for you. So, yep. Take care, guys. I just want to, I'll end it there. Bye.